What's up weebs? Jordan here. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am rereading Chainsaw Man and it got me thinking about part two of Chainsaw Man. Part one was fantastic. If you have not read it yet, I highly recommend it that you go read it right now. It's absolutely fantastic. I've made a couple of videos about Chainsaw Man. Basically, I did a reaction to the trailer and then I did another reaction when I finished part one of Chainsaw Man. And as I was reading it the first time, I would get to points where I stopped. I sort of got busy with other things. I didn't really, I didn't catch on to it as much as I would have liked to, but that was just my personal take on it. Once I read the whole thing, once I got to a point where I got sort of addicted to reading it <laughs> and I read all of it, I realized how unbelievably incredible Fujimoto's Chainsaw Man actually is. And I've actually read his other one shot, Look Back, Fujimoto. And so overall, I think he is just a fantastic mangaka and he has a very bright future in this industry. But really the main focus of this video <laughs> was part two of Chainsaw Man because there's a section and I'm gonna have light spoilers in this. So if you haven't read Chainsaw Man part one yet or if you don't know that there's a part one Chainsaw Man in general, I am going to be spoiling something in this video. There's a part in Chainsaw Man where they, a certain villain makes a uh, contract with the darkness devil and they find their way in hell. And that's a very creepy, just fear inducing, just anxiety driven moment in and of itself because there's this eerie peace sort of I, I don't know how to explain it it just looks very peaceful it's like a meadow but there's like doors on the the sky and all of the demons and uh, fiends have this very like scared feeling that they're being watched the whole time and then you know as the i think it's a two chapter section maybe three as it goes on it it's the darkness devil that they made the um i think it was santa claus made the contract but basically making that contract with the darkness devil sent them down to hell and it appeared in front of uh aki dingy power and everybody else that was down there and they were all powerless to stop the darkness devil this was a very strong powerful devil in the chainsaw man universe and basically how the devils work in chainsaw man is the more a devil is feared so like general fears the more powerful that devil is so like the gun devil, for example, the fear of guns is a very common, prevalent fear, especially in today's society with, you know, the shootings and war and all things like that. So the gun devil being extremely powerful and sort of being a prevalent villain in Chainsaw Man Part 1 made sense. But they teased the future of Chainsaw Man. Fujimoto teased it with the darkness devil and just how powerful that devil actually was because the fear of the dark is a very common prevalent fear in society especially among children basically what i'm trying to say is the future villains in chainsaw man if they had a hard time with the darkness devil they're gonna have a hard time with like there could be a devil that's the fear of heights or a devil that is the fear of the unknown or a anxiety devil or a depression devil just just common fears and even mental illnesses could play a part in the fears the phobias that power the villains going forward in chainsaw man so it got me thinking about a potential couple of instances like i said that this story could go forward so let's take for example like now just like in our our general world and fujimoto could put this into fruition in chainsaw man is like the fear of illness the fear of diseases viruses like covid for example there could be a disease devil in chainsaw man that if you even are in the vicinity of this devil you get deathly ill and die that could be a very very powerful villain in the chainsaw man universe there could be a fear of death i think there did they already mention a death devil if not i'm sorry but just the fear of death or dying or fear of loss like losing a loved one and that isn't necessarily like a phobia because there's a lot of different ways that fujimoto could take this where he focuses more on sort of like gen general fears of people so like i said the fear of darkness was a very prevalent 
devil and a very powerful devil in Chainsaw Man Part 1. So that was pretty impactful hint or a very strong hint going forward that the future devils and the future antagonists in Chainsaw Man are going to be on a whole nother level as far as power because even Makima couldn't stand a chance and she is the control devil reincarnated as a human basically. So they could do like the fear of war. There could be a war devil. There could be a fear of spiders and arachnophobia type situation, fear of snakes. There's all sorts of interesting fears and phobias that Fujimoto could incorporate into the Chainsaw Man universe that would be pretty scary because that section in Chainsaw Man when they go to hell and sheer like when you're reading through it you know you're, you've come to know all these characters and they're very powerful and they fight you know it's a battle shown in manga so they're all pretty powerful but just the vast differences in raw strength that the Darkness Devil had compared to all of our main characters, they could not do a thing to this devil. So going forward, there's gonna be probably some, unless I'm assuming, you know, it is a shonen, and depending on how Fujimoto decides to, you know, take Dingy in the future, we saw him at the end of Chainsaw Man in the full Chainsaw Man devil form, and it was very powerful. It took all of the other devils and Makima to sort of fight him and be on, you know, on an even playing field because he's that powerful. He is a devil that when he kills other devils, they get erased from existence. So devils fear this devil. So Dingy already has a pretty strong advantage and there isn't a clear indicator of if he would have been in full Chainsaw Man form versus the Darkness Devil, how that would be. And we don't even know really if that Darkness Devil had seen Dingy in his full form, if he would have been scared of Chainsaw Man and Dingy himself because, you know, like, like Makima said, when Chainsaw Man defeats and kills other devils, they get erased from existence. And I'm assuming even like the Darkness Devil, who they fought, wouldn't want to be erased. So that could be a pretty interesting point going forward in Chainsaw Man. Now, if you guys have any ideas of future potential, you know, villains, devils in chainsaw man go ahead and leave a comment down below i really really like this series i i had a pretty bad take on it in my first reaction video <laughs> where i basically said i don't like series that go over the top for the sake of going over the top that was wrong chainsaw man is the top it is absolutely crazy as far as shonen go i mean there's obviously other horror manga out there that are terrifying but just for like sh something that is in shonen this is a very very tippity toppity like flirting with the the line on something being able to be in shonen i'm assuming so going forward this series is going to be really rad like i said if you guys have any comments or ideas or theories or anything at all leave me a comment down below i really like talking about this series now i'm kind of obsessed with it. i'm on my second read through i'm almost finished with it again and i'm really really hyped on the anime also comment down below on how stoked you are on the anime but guys, that's basically all I wanted to talk about in today's video. It was a little more loosey-goosey than normal, a little less editing. And I hope this comes across well, and I hope you enjoy it. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers, so if you are not subscribed yet, please, please, please consider subscribing. It really does help me out. Leave a like if you like Chainsaw Man, and I am going to get out of here. I will catch you next time. Peace.